Hello, my amazing math minds, and welcome to this week's Math Tip Monday. My name is Heidi Rethmeyer, staff developer at ESU8, and this week I want to talk about a Google Chrome extension called Equatio, and it's been around for a couple years, so some of you are probably using it, uh, though I thought it would be a great one to highlight considering uh, we have a lot of remote learning happening right now, whether you have kids on quarantine. So I think this is a great tool for everyone K-12. And I will show you some of the many things you can do, such as creating equations, graphs, number lines, clocks, fractional representations, and, and much more. And you can insert them into documents or Google Forms, which I think is a great idea if you need to do um, a short assessment, whether it's formative or summative. So Equatio is a Google Chrome extension. So you have to go to the Chrome web store and you will find it here and it will give you the option to add to Chrome. You can see I already have it. Um, so it's asking if I wanna remove it, which I do not. So that is where you can find Equatio and download it. And then once you have done that, you should see a little icon that looks like this called Equatio. So I went ahead and opened a Google doc and if I select this, and you notice it says has access to the site, then down at the bottom here, I suddenly have all sorts of options. So a lot of options that you can do here. The first one is just by typing. So you could type an equation. Okay, and then just insert the math in the document. If you want to clear this, you just hit the trash button. Um, you also have some options here uh, for different texts, symbols, maybe a layout, maybe you need to make a table. So just by typing is one way to do it. Uh, the LaTeX editor I'm not going to go into, but that is a special text editing tool that's often used in academia. Um, but I don't think for most of our purposes we won't use it. Okay, graph editor. Maybe you need to make a graph. This is great for uh, algebra and upper level math classes. And if you notice, it looks a lot like Desmos because it is uh, generated by Desmos. So now maybe I wanna use, let's maybe I wanna put in a sine function. Okay, and then it also gives you some suggestions. And now I wanna insert the graph. Okay, there, I put it in my Google Doc as well. Okay, I could also do uh, handwriting. It does have some handwriting abilities. So how about two, and I think it, it recognized pi one time when I did it. Oh, look at that. Okay, so I can do it that way just by uh, handwriting. I can also do speech input. So a squared plus b squared equals c squared. And then I could also insert that into my document, okay? Um, there is a, a mobile version of this. Uh, here's another one um, that I think would be really useful, especially for our elementary teachers. Um, I did have to create an account, but I just used my Google account here. Um, and you notice it has a lot of the same features, except we have a couple others here. You could put in some shapes. Um, some smart shapes, which I really like. So maybe I want to put in a number line. I can tell it um, how many segments I want. Um, I can tell it um, I want to put the placement on the bottom or the top. I can tell how many steps I want to use. You know, maybe I want to go by twos instead of ones. Okay, so that's a great way to do a number line. Okay, and then up here is how you would insert it into your document. There, it does its magic. Okay, I'm gonna go back to that space. We can also do a fraction bar. And again, you can change the number of segments. You can change the number that are highlighted. We can do um, a fraction circle. We can do a protractor. If you wanted to put a protractor and have them read an angle, um, you can actually put an angle in first and then put the protractor on top of it and you can decide the dimensions of the angle. Um, you can do a clock. Uh, 
and now I could do an elapsed time question. Okay, so that is the math space part of Equatio. Um, there are some other things you can do, some STEM tools where you can, I don't think you can put these actually in the document unless you want to take a screenshot, but it provides information on the periodic table for any of my science teachers. Um, it will give you a scientific calculator. Again, if you needed to take a screenshot, you can include that. Um, here is a molecular view. Let's do water, H2O. And now I have a molecular view. And again, you could use a screenshot of this and maybe put it in your Google Doc if you needed to, but those are just some tools that they have up and available. Okay, so that is one way is that you can create all these on a Google Doc. However, I think it is very powerful in its use on Google Forms. So if you notice, once you have downloaded the extension, these little icons are gonna show up in your Google Forms. So now I have all of the same capabilities right here that I did in Google Docs. I could put in a graph, um, I could put in a clock, I can put in a number line, I can do a fractions and have all sorts of questions. And as you'll notice, you can do the same thing on the answers for the options. So for example, let's maybe input a graph. Maybe I wanna put that sine graph back in, or maybe I wanna do, let's do tangent of 2x. Okay, now I'm gonna insert the graph. Okay, now it is part of my question. Okay, and then you could do the same thing down here with your options for your answers. You could put in an equation, you could put in another graph. Um, you could go back to the math space and add some other things. Um, so a lot of power in using this for math teachers in collecting uh, feedback from your students on how things are going or doing some homework. So there's great power in the Equatio. So that is my math tip for this Monday. So try out the Equatio extension, wonderful tool for math teachers, especially given um, the remote learning that we may find ourselves in. So let me know how Equatio goes for you. In the meantime, stay well, be kind.